I've always been inspired by the ocean. I've always loved the ocean. My, my process from the moment I get in my car to where I'm driving to the ocean or the, or the beach or the rocks to collect my work, it starts from there. I feel, it's just, I just feel so fortunate um, that this has, I've manifested this life for myself. Um, so basically I go to the ocean to grab my, uh, to grab my seaweed, but I'm, a, I'm walking on the coast, I'm observing the nature on the shore, the birds, I'm seeing what's in season in terms of um, the fish and the seaweed. The seaweed is seasonal, so I've um, learned that over time. And it's even different in the spring, the same type of seaweed changes um, throughout the summer, and, be, and so I'm able to document that. I see scallops swimming by. I mean, it's just, it's, it's a very holistic experience um, to go out there and collect and come back, to come back to the studio. I also have to gather um, bucket, uh, jugs of salt water because I need to work uh, with salt water when I'm working with the seaweed and making the, the original art. Last year, um, I, I started working with cyanotype. And cyanotype is a is a process. I'll get an I'll get another. Um, it's two chemicals. They're they're non toxic chemicals. They're they're basically iron um, iron salts. Different different components of iron salts. So there's two two that you that you have to um, you get the crystals. You mix them in water, and then th those solutions you have to mix together, and they. You coat them on once you coat them on the surface of paper or fabric, they make the surface it becomes light sensitive. So you can put dried seaweed or or objects or whatever um, on top, and you put it in the summer. I'm able to um, go outside right. um, and do you know put it under the sunlight. In the winter, I use my dark room, but um, and then wherever was covered leaves that impress you know acts as a resist. Right. So basically, this is the process that starts. So I have I have a collection of dried seaweed that I work with for that beginning process, and then once I get the 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 um, the shapes that I like, which are you know random, and I I never know what I'm going to get. Um, once I get it that impression, I I go through the the print the um, the seaweed pressing process where. So I soak the paper in salt water, and then I collage uh, 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 wet seaweed, uh, fresh seaweed on top of it. And right. I make, a, yeah, so this dual process, so you get the blue color works wonderfully with that. You get these impressions of, like, say, rockweed or whatever you put behind there. And so this combination has been, um, I thought about it for a while, and I was able to work on it last year. And so I love I love working in this in this format. Um, and uh, could I share an, another one with you? Sure. Okay. So basically, another thing that I was thinking about, um, and 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 since one one silver lining for me with COVID has been that the uh, normally my summer is booked, I'd say from June you know, into September for sure, and then into the holiday season with, with shows. And um, I have, I have um, shops that carry my work, so I do, so I'm, I'm very busy all summer, and everything was canceled for me, um, except for one show that I did. So I've been able to be in my studio working on these ideas that I've, that I've been thinking about for a while. So in that same process of, of sort of doing the scenotype, um, this is a process now where I've done the cyanotype, and this is a piece of kelp. So the, the, I've always wanted to work with kelp um, because it's so beautiful and it's so unique, but it's hard to work with. It's long, it's leathery, right. I can't press it. Um, it dries and it gets brittle. So I'm able to lay the kelp out and I can do a whole, um, well, you can see one behind me here. Yes. Thanks. Yes. Yep. So in some of the, in some of the, so what I've, what I've done with this particular one is I've gone back and I've, I've painted in with the, with the cyanotype chemicals and then, um, and then laid some dried seaweed and, and put it back out into the sun and I'm getting this dual. Um, it looks very insect-like. 
Yeah, it looks insect. I mean, the rockweed has this wonderful pattern. It's different mm -hmm. shades of blue. Um, it, it makes it dimensional, uh, you know, kind of pushes the background into a very, uh, it's not defined, so it's sort of a, it, it recedes, and then this is bright and, and, and colorful, and this comes forward, so you get, there's a lot of things happening there. What would you like people to take away from your work? What I, what I um, would like people to take away, of course, is the same feeling of, of, of what got me started. And it's basically looking at seaweed uh, in a different way. And seaweed also becomes um, a, a platform for the environment, um, for, for nature, for um, being more observant in, 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 your, in your surroundings. So, and I have had many people come back um, over the years and just say, oh, I went down to the beach today, I thought of you. I looked in the water, there was seaweed, and I was actually looking at the different types. And there was a, a lot of different types. It didn't seem like there was, but there are. And I'll get emails from people that are traveling, um, uh, well, uh, we're traveling in boats, and they're traveling over to Europe and wherever, and I'll get pictures of the seaweed um, that they're seeing over there. So I, that's, that's incredibly um, rewarding to me to actually have people uh, have, have my work affect them so they're, they're noticing their own um, environment with more depth. Uh, as soon as I made the pressings, it just resonated with me. I, 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 loved, I loved it, and I was very excited to, to sort of, you know, understand how to do it, work with different species, work with different papers, just figure out how to, how to make, make work with it. And friends and family saw the work, and they wanted some for their homes. And I thought, well, let me just see, you know, is this an art form? I know it's like sort of a craft form, but it can, can it also be an art form? So anyways.